Hello everyone! Pahamar here with episode 3 of my Pahi Plays Fortunecraft 1 series. Uh, it's been probably about a week since the last video has gone up. Uh, sadly, it uh, I've been having some ISP problems which have uh, now been sorted out that really did limit how much I was able to uh, work on Fortunecraft. Um, so now that it's all sorted out, I figure it's time to get back to it. So in the last time we uh, in the last time Grey Sentence Pahi, we set up our first thermal expansion uh, setup here. So uh, it's been slightly changed since the last episode. A um, bunch of people suggested uh, if I was smart, I could actually just plan the uh, plant the steam dynamo on top of the aqueous accumulator, and I wouldn't have to worry about fluid ducts. I had a lot of uh, suggestions on opaque fluid ducts versus transparent, uh, but this is what we went with so far and uh, some simple automation here. So um, we are producing RF, goes into our leadstone energy cell. Uh, we have our pulverizer, our redstone furnace. It's currently processing a bunch of ore berries that I found in the workshop, which is good because I need a initial start of gold if I'm going to be building a golden banana. Yay. So that's chugging away and I'll use my minium stone to uh, to turn that into gold blocks so that I can start building the first steps of the banana. Um, but this episode I want to get working on more thermal expansion machines so we should update our goals first. So we now have a powered furnace, we have a pulverizer, an aqueous accumulator, and uh, apparently we've had a visitor. So uh, apparently we need to make Toby the king, and I'm sorry, Toby. Um, there is no king of Canada. Wah wah. Okay. Why don't we uh, goals day two? Oh no, let's do episode two. Let's go into the next page. Goals episode three. So things I want to do this episode is I found with only one pulverizer it wasn't enough for all the ore I kept bringing back so in. So I want to make another two pulverizers. I also want to do two more redstone furnaces. Let's see what else. I want to upgrade the energy cell. I want to upgrade it to a hardened leadstone energy cell. I want to make a sawmill for getting more planks out of my wood logs. I want to make an induction smelter. I want to make a fluid transposer. And Direwolf helped me figure out what I actually needed to build because I, I really didn't know what these machines are. So he's assured me that uh, this will help me get set up. I need a igneous extruder. That'll help me get uh, cobblestone, I understand. Uh, and I believe magma crucible? Was that one of them? Yeah. Oh, there's more. Jeez. Okay. Uh, cyclic assembler. I might have to do a second page of this. Goals episode th three. And we're also going to want a energetic infuser. I hear I need one of those for um, recharging the, the thermal expansion tools. Apparently there's thermal expansion tools. So we have a lot to build. Uh, so thankfully it's uh, it's been nice that I've done some mining. Uh, so we have a ton of supplies, um, blocks of diamond and blocks of emerald. Yeah, with my lovely minium stone we'll be able to get that down to uh, a lot of goodies. Uh, I don't think, yeah, nothing to process there. Um, got a lot of Thawncraft shards. We're really going to have to get scanning things to get started on that research. Uh, wood, we got enough to get started. And, uh, and this stuff here. So I had wondered if I was getting into Tinker's Construct this time. I think with this list of things to build, uh, it's going to take a while. So why don't I get started on building that and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I got a lot of the base materials I think I'm going to need to make the list of stuff in our uh, goals for this episode. And while I was grabbing that, I noticed we seem to have some kind of a smoke problem. That wasn't there before. 
Like, I know that we've run out of power, because I haven't filled this up and we're out of RF, but uh, this is different. Oh, it's a smoking block from Twilight Forest. Ah, Toby. Ah, I'm gonna have to get some of my tools for that, aren't I? Let's see. No, I don't need an axe. I need a shovel. Do I need a shovel or is this a... Yeah, this is a mine thing. Okay, smoker. Nice. And ooh, that dug a little deeper than intended. Let's put this all back. We don't have anyone on the server with us today. Sad. Do you have any dirt? I do have dirt. Okay. Da -da. And we're done. Alright, so now that the smoker's been taken care of, let us get to the building. So by my calculations, we need two pistons. So oh, I should probably break that redstone. Actually, I'm going to need more redstone. I know that. Grab that. I know I need two blocks of redstone, so we'll leave that. All right. Two pistons. I need four machine frames. Actually, I need more than four machine frames. I need ten machine frames. Oh, no. That is a rolling machine. Let's see. Machine frame. Did I get enough gold? I need to break the gold and iron. I'm going to run out of inventory, guys. glass, that's for sure. Tell you what, since this looks like it's going to take a while and I've got a lot of things to craft, I have redstone reception coils, uh, a couple of redstone energy cell frames and redstone transmission coils and all that other stuff, why don't I uh, get that all built up and uh, we'll come back as we go and see about setting up a new system out back there. So. We'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I took some glass out of the workshop to uh, to see about getting the uh, the necessary number of machine frames and all the other stuff done. So let's get started. Uh, actually, I need to uh, go salvage something here because one of the things that we're gonna do is we're going to upgrade our energy cell. So grab that. over here and we want to make a hardened energy cell. So we use our existing shell and my invar. And there we go. And we wanted to upgrade that because this holds quite a bit more than uh, the normal leadstone energy cell. I don't quite have the tech to uh, get higher than this right yet but uh, we'll get there eventually. So now we wanted two more pulverizers and we wanted two more redstone furnaces. So pulverizer. So for that we need two copper, two flint. I have my pistons in here. Two machine frames and two redstone reception coils. There we go. Sweet! All right, uh, and then the redstone furnace. Redstone furnace. All right, for that we need redstone, brick, copper, machine frames, reception coil. Very nice. Now we got that done, okay. So let's come back to our handy dandy list here. All right, pulverizers, redstone 
furnace and upgraded energy cell. So now we have sawmill, induction smelter, and all this other stuff. Okay, so why don't we go and put these down somewhere? I'll just stick them here for now. It's not where they'll live permanently, although that guy will probably live there. There we go. Okay, so now we have a sawmill to make. Man, I'm getting excited to get into applied energistics later on. Because I am going to need to uh, come up with a faster way of crafting and storing these things. So for this, I need an axe, machine frame, some wood. Oh, I need to break up some copper. Copper, wood, machine frame, sawmill. All right. Okay, induction smelter, fluid transposer, igneous extruder. I hear that the smelter is the big deal item we're gonna get out of this. Uh, we need a bucket, invar, copper, there we go. Okay, so let's make us a bucket. Let's do this because that makes it always so much easier. Where's my invar? There's my invar. So many bars that look the same. Induction smelter. Okay, and then we need a fluid transposer. We need another bucket. Heavy on the buckets here. And copper. Fluid transposer. Man, another three to check off. Check, check, check. So now we have three left. Magma crucible, cyclic assembler, and energetic infuser. Let's see if my short-term memory will let me keep remembering that. Okay, so this is where we started to need these leadstone energy frames. So this is, ooh, nether brick. I do not have nether brick. I have actually yet to even go to the nether. So let's, uh, plunk these guys down just for now. Alright, so we need to go to the nether for the magma crucible. What about the cyclic assembler and the energetic infuser? Cyclic. Uh, tin gears. Yeah, I can do that. And the infuser. Yeah, I can do that too. I think I can do that one right now. Yeah, I can do that one right now. So do that, that, this, this, this. There we go. We got an energetic infuser. And let's see, I needed a chest. And this was for the cyclic assembler. All right, now we need some gears. I need another set of those. Let's see, does this allow an easy way to go straight to uh, tin gears? Or do I have to go to stone gears first? Yeah, I have to go to stone gears first. I'm actually one, one cobblestone away. Let's see if I can find some, some quick cobble. Talk about ghetto. Run into your outdoor pond to go get some cobblestone to make your gears. I think I'd have more stuff. But I do have a lot of stuff. It's all just been converted upwards. All right. Wood gear. There we go. And now can I go straight to tin? I should get myself some tin here. Yes, I can. Sweet. I don't have to go copper. All right. That was that. Chest. Da, da, da. Cyclic assembler. All right, I have no idea what these things do. So the only one that we haven't done yet, oh no, is the magma crucible. Hmm. Okay, let's see. So I know what these guys do. Sawmill. Oh, that's the flu transposer. That's the sawmill. 
induction smelter. Wow, these look complicated. Energetic infuser, cyclic assembler. Wow, that's gonna take a while. Let's see, well, let's grab some of this stuff out. So I discovered in the workshop, apparently someone's got an automated ore berry uh, production system here. Uh, and you can see I've been abusing it so I can get myself some gold ingots. Let's grab those and I should probably now that I actually have uh, a larger energy cell here, wow, I could put out a lot of energy. Let's just get building up some steam again. Now let's see, am I gonna get uh, am I gonna get cactus again, or is it just not gonna show anything? Might not show anything. Are we getting power? Yes, we are. You're powering up, and are you gonna start, or do I need to do this? Is that is that? right? Oh yes, that's right. I need to come into here and I need to say, oh, no, that was not. There we go. That's what I needed to do. Okay. So let's get ourselves cleaned up a bit. So let's go ahead and make ourselves some more gold ingots. Because I want to get started on the banana sometime soon. I know this looks so inefficient, but it's a nice way to get going. There we go. All right. Let us put our valuables away. Man, if I died there, I would have lost so much, so much stuff. All right, let's get this stuff out because we are going to go on a trip. We are going to the nether. And we'll organize that put this stuff at the bottom because we're not done with this stuff. I'm so neat. It's kind of a problem. Let's see. Put the glass and stuff in here. And man, first time going to the nether. I hear we got a book for it, so that should make things a little easier. I'm not stream type. Oh, so I must have been trying to play some music. Nether. Here we go. So we just need to get ourselves some nether brick. Oh wow. What is going on here? Whose portal is that? Oh no, that must have been the original. And then we have the books here. Let's see, did any of these books take us to another fortress? Prague's house. What's that one go to? Digger. Oh, looks like we got some hell bees on over here. Tainted soil. These aren't gonna hurt me, are they? No, they're not running anything right now. Ooh, that's a different graphic. Where's this go? B world. Oh, we have a B world. I am not going there right yet. Where is a nice little nether fortress? Wow, I almost fell right into that. Is that the the idea? Man, I wish Dyer was around right now. So I could ask, what is going on down there? Ooh. Well, that is part of another fortress. Yes, it is. Oh, can I make the jump? Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Huh. Maybe there's some other stuff I should get while I'm here. I think I need some glowstone. Let's just clear the path. Yeah, let's call it clear the path. It's dark. Let's get a bunch of this stuff. Where's that block? Oh, more. Makes me wonder what people have found in here so far. Wow. <laughs> the nether is a very different place. What is that? Skyberry bush? What does that give you? Skyberries? What do they do? I'm hungry so I could eat. What does that give me? Slowness and a jump boost. So I'm fast and... Like a, yeah. Ooh, ash. That's awesome. Nether quartz? Ah, oh, sweet.
kind of nice to know that not everyone has uh, mined up all the nether quartz here. So we'll have a need for that. I don't feel like I want tainted soil, so we'll leave that behind. Jeez. Oh, I get the idea. I don't want to walk on that. Okay, and you get slow on ash. Wow. This is so different than what I'm used to. Oh, and now I'm on fire. Fantastic. This is a good first trip. Is that ghost wood? Is that why it's see-through? Oh, oh he must have walked through the thorns. Oh, in a blaze. Sweet. Oh, is that a... Oh, that's a wither over there, too. Crap. Has he seen me? I think he saw me. But I kind of want to get some of this nether wart, too. What am I... Oh, did the wither get me? This isn't good. This isn't good. That's not good at all. I need to heal up. What caught me? There's no wither down there. Is this the right way? Yeah, this is the right way. How did I get up here? I feel like I'm not doing this right. Oh well. YOLO. Oh, and now I'm on fire. Fantastic. Oh, thank god for knockback. Sweet. Oh, survived him. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. You're mine. Oh, I was worried I was going to hit the pig. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so... Oh, we got some wither wart. And we got some nether wart. And we got the blocks we needed. And some quartz. Sweet. So let's get back over here. And let's do this so that I don't have to worry about some insane drop. What is... Ah, uh, someone must have been siphoning off uh, a lot of magma. Looks like these guys have made this mag... Like, this whole area just drained it. I guess that's what the bottom of the nether looks like when you get rid of all the... Uh, all the lava in it. Whoa, itchy nose. This isn't such a bad thing to have. And let's get back here. Ah, oh, goodness. Glad to be back. Okay. Now we can finally finish this. And I probably put away the other stuff I needed, so let's grab that again. Grab that. And let's see. It was the magma crucible. I don't even know what it does. It just sounded like a good thing to have. Dyer said it wasn't a terrible thing. Let's see, so nether brick. Machine frame. Oh, and I need my copper. Darn. After this, we'll get the machine set up, and I think we'll start having a look at uh, Tinker's Construct, which is another mod I've gotten very little experience with. So here we go. Does this make lava? Recipes. Oh, it melts things down into lava. Or other fluids. Is this how you get? Oh, that's, I need that. I'm going to need that if I want to get more, uh, better energy cells, aren't I? The energy has glowstone. I hear that's how you can get yourself, uh, uh, that glowstone that hangs out on the roof of your house. It makes everything all nice and pretty. Pretty. All right. Uh, you're kind of magical, so you'll go in there. And you're plant-like. You are a mob drop your fuel, and you're valuable, and yeah, you guys can just go in here for now until I figure out where you're going to go. Alright, 
Wow, that's a lot of machines. I'm probably going to need more of these. Hmm. Okay. Uh, give me a sec. I need to figure out how I should do this. So, hmm. so while I was in my house trying to figure out how I wanted to set things up, I heard this explosion outside. And I got thinking, there's no one on the server, so it couldn't have been a creeper. And then I saw this. I think this is my first meteor. What is this used for? Moonstone blocks, crystal factory. I'll take that. I won't say no to that stuff. I'll fill the hole in. Neat. I'd heard a lot about these meteors, but I've never seen them in action, so. Alright. I guess you can go into the. Uh, no, your magic mod. Magic stuff. And. This is kind of where I got my building blocks. Oh, that would make sense that why those are in the wrong spot. We'll do that. Okay. Alright, let's get back to thinking. Okay, so I got an idea here. Why don't we, because I want to have room here if I want to run these um, hoppers to feed things in. Why don't we do this? And do the machines like this. So... Let's do this here, and we'll go pulverizers. Do I have any running in that one? No, I don't. Okay. And, hmm, okay, that will just have to be open. Pulverizers with, how about redstone furnaces on top? to do this for now. Oh, I just made a huge mess. There we go. I'll pick all that up. Okay. So we'll do this. These guys will... do that for now. I thought we could do that. Oh. And then... No, I need that orange. There we go. Orange and orange. And we'll have you guys taking input. Let's do output there. So do that here. So what'll happen now is it'll in, uh, output to the chest on top. So I'll put items in here, they'll go into the furnace, and they'll come out on top. So, let's see, now we have these guys. You know what, I hear I can pick these things up if I, uh, if I actually use my wrench. Let's do this. Wow, that's way faster. Okay. So let's make room for them all here. Wow, there's a lot of them. Alright, let's see. Uh, induction smelter here. Magma Crucible, Fluid Transposer, Sawmill, Cyclic Assembler, and Energetic Infuser. Wow, that just fills it up. It's just enough. Sweet. And let's do this. And because chests, let's do it like that, and that will make a little bit more sense. The reason I'm doing this is actually something I learned off Sevitus. Uh, well, Got thinking about after watching Severus. Oh, that is not what I wanted. How does he do this again? So what he does is he does the chests side by side. So I think he has to do them like that. At least until I get like some uh, squirrel exchange chests, these alchemical chests up top. So let's just make a few more of these because they're easy to upgrade. One, two, three, four. That's all I need. Come back here. I'll do that. Will I do that? No, it won't. Hmm. Can I do it like this? No, I can't do that either. Okay. Well, we just might have to do some equivalent exchanging. Or, I guess <laughs> I should say, some upgrading. So, uh... 
But while that's going on, I mean, these guys are getting energy, aren't they? No, they're not. Because the energy is only in the bottom. I'm not very good at this, guys. Alright, let's do this. Because really what should be happening is they should be getting energy up. Yeah, maybe we can make this a little cleaner. So let's... Let's get rid of these. what we want to do is like this or no we don't need it to come out the bottom like this because they're all the same level so we can do it like this and then like like that and we'll drop that one because we don't need it that. So we'll fill that in, and these should all be getting power. Once I actually come along here and say, there we go. Say that's input. There we go. So now these should, yep, they're all getting power. This is draining. And I should now be able to This is fine for now. We'll have it take imp Does it not do input off the front? It doesn't. Hmm. Interesting. Oh well, well, just do it like this for now. We have so many of them. And that's fine for now. Uh, how would you do it? Could I do it like that? Oh well, good enough. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Well, guys, I think that's probably a good wrapping up point. We got our first slew of machines. I think the only thing we didn't build was a glacial uh, accumulator. Maybe we'll get to that in the future if we have, find ourselves with a need for ice. So we'll check off that, and that, and why don't we do this? Goals, episode four, Tinker's Construct. And I already know the first thing I'm going to build, because I've seen it the number of times in uh, the comments for the last video, was uh, to upgrade this into one that holds the inventory. So until that time, uh, this is Palmar saying uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, hope you guys are having a good night, and uh, much love.